loves anything chicken. In fact, whenever we go to a Japanese restaurant, ang unang-unang titingnan niya dun sa menu ay ang mga chicken dishes because he doesn't really eat sushi or sashimi. Kaya naman today, I decided to make one of his favorite Japanese dishes, ang oyakodon. Kung gusto niyo matutunan paano to gawin, please watch this video from start to finish. But before I start, please don't forget to hit the like button so that more people can watch this recipe video. And if you're new to my channel, hello mga ka-chefies! Ako si Chef Mom Rosebud. Magtusta na tayo! Okay, so oyakodon. When we say oyakodon, it's actually chicken and egg on top of a rice. So I have your chicken thighs. This is filleted already with skin on. So what I'm gonna do is just season this with some salt and pepper. So salt. And pepper on both sides. Flip it to the other side. And then you season the other side again with salt. And pepper. So I'm using chicken thigh because this one is actually more flavorful as compared to your chicken breast. This is red meat. So it is more moist, it is more juicy, and I decided to keep the skin on para later when we fry and then let it simmer on the sauce, hindi siya magda dry out. And in fact, yung kanyang skin has is gonna be adding more flavor to our dish. So, lutuin na natin. So all you have to do is heat up your saute pan. So I'm using a small saute pan. Let's just add a little bit of oil dito sa ating saute pan. Okay, so just enough to cover the bottom of your pan. There you go. So once the oil is hot enough, we're now going to be searing our chicken skin side on. So this is good. Let us now, there, sear our chicken. So we just want na masear yung ating chicken skin mag-brown siya. This will cook for around like a minute or a minute and 15 seconds. Okay, so let's check. Once I'm brown na yung skin, we could turn it to the other side and we'll just cook this for around 30 seconds to 40 seconds until mga 50 to 60% cooked lang yung ating chicken. Okay, so this is good. Let me now set this aside. Let's turn off the heat. Tapos we'll just let this rest for a while. We're going to be using the same pan. We just need to take out some of the excess oil. And just clean it like so. This is good. Okay, so we set aside our chicken thigh first. And then, this is important sa ating oyakodon, ang white onions. Naku, alam ko na medyo meron tayong shortage nito. But we need this for our dish. Okay, alam ko medyo mahal ang white onions ngayon. Kaya siguraduhin yung masarap ang inyong lulutuin para hindi naman sayang. So just slice it thinly like so. There, and then we set this aside. Naiyak ako doon. Naiyak ako sa mahal ng onions. <laughs> Bukod doon nakakayak talaga pag nagsaslice na onions. So we're also gonna be needing some scallions or some spring onions. Ayan. So just slice it thinly like so. Nakakaiyak din tong spring onions ah. <laughs> okay. Iluluha ako muna to mga kasetis. Babalikan ko kayo. <laughs> Naiyak ako sa mahal ng sibuyas. <sighs> okay, pagkatapos ko iluha mga kasetis, <laughs> i-set aside ko na yung ating spring onions. Okay, let's just place it here sa ating bowl. And then, what I'm going to do next, na medyo na pares na natin yung ating chicken. So, lagay lang natin siya dito sa ating chopping board. And I will just slice this into bite-sized pieces. So, hindi pa to talaga lutong-luto. Don't worry kasi nga, we will finish this off dun sa ating sauce. So, depende. Kung gusto nyo ng mas maliliit pa, pwede rin naman. So, lagay ko lang siya dito sa ating plate. And then, okay. Yung iba pang ingredients... Papakita ko na sa inyo kung anong gagawin. Okay, so we have our eggs here. Let's just crack it dito sa ating bowl. Like so. And another one. 
there you go and you just mix it very lightly ganyan lang siya hindi kailangan magsama completely yung ating egg yolks at egg whites very light lang, kailangan medyo meron pa separation of the egg whites and the egg yolks para mas maganda mamaya, mas fluffy siya when we add it to our dish okay, so ganito lang siya there okay Punta na tayo ulit sa lutuan. Okay, so let's continue cooking our oyakodon. So on low heat, let's add our sliced onions. So the white onions will go here. And then for the sauce, we need our chicken stock. So place it here. Then we have our Japanese soy sauce. We're also going to be needing marine. Nabibili yan sa mga Asian section sa inyong mga groceries. If you can't find it, pwede rin namang wala ng marine. Just make sure that you add your sugar. Sugar. So we'll just let this boil and simmer for around 2 to 3 minutes until mag-soften yung ating onions at ma-absorb niya yung flavor ng ating sauce. Okay, so our sauce is now boiling. We just lower the heat para mag-simmer lang siya. And then we add our chicken. So just continue to cook your chicken together with the sauce. So this will cook for around 2 to 3 minutes. Make sure lang na nakasubmerge yung ating manok dun sa ating sauce. Okay, so you notice, nag-iba na yung color ng ating chicken. Yung kanyang meat is now cooking. Now, we could add in our spring onions. So, just mix that in. Ayan. Let it continue to cook. This actually is a very easy recipe to make. In fact, kaya itong gawin in less than 10 minutes as long as nakaprep na lahat ng inyong mga ingredients. So, perfect for people who are on the go. O kaya, may bigla ang meron dumating na bisita na kailangan yung magluto ng mga masasarap niyong recipe. So, this is a good recipe idea for all of you. Ayan. So, our sauce and our chicken has been cooking for a few minutes now. Let me just try kung ano nang lasa ng ating sauce. Ayun. Tamang-tama. Matamis-tamis na siya. Just how I enjoy my oyako dun. So, at this point, we can now add in our egg. So our egg should be added on very low heat. So try to put it in a circling motion there. So we don't want our eggs to set in ha. Gusto natin medyo runny siya ng konti. Slightly runny. So in-adjust ko ngayon yung ating heat to medium. So this will cook for around mga 30 to 45 seconds. Balikan natin siya after. Takpan muna natin. Okay, so balikan natin. Ayan, medyo nag-set na yung ating chicken at ang ating egg. Let's turn off the heat. And I'm now ready to plate. See, napakadali nang niyang gawin. Let's go! Up. Okay. Ubusin na natin. <laughs> Ubusin na natin siya. Nahiya pa tayo eh. For one serving. For one person na gutom na gutom. There. Lagyan natin yan. And of course, the delicious sauce. Mmm. Mmm. Siyempre, dapat lahat simot at sayang ang onions. There. And then we add some ayan, nori. And our spring onions. And some toasted sesame seeds. 
Ayan na, tapos na. Ayan mga ka-chefies, tapos na ang aking very easy to make na Oyakodon recipe. Sana naman ay nag-enjoy kayo watching this video. And if you did, of course, don't forget to hit the like button so that more people can watch this video. At kung nag-enjoy kayo, syempre naman, kailangan ninyo itong lutuin para sa inyong pamilya, di ba? Thank you so much for watching me. Pero bago ang lahat, hindi tayo matatapos ang walang tikiman time. Mmm! Ang sarap. Ang sarap, parang kumain ng... Kumain na ako sa Japanese restaurant, ba? Mmm, mmm, mmm. So delicious and easy to make. Try this at home, mga ka-chefies. See you again next time. Kain muna ako.